everybody and welcome back to another tutorial from my Simply series range of books. So today I'm going to be going through the fourth piece in Simply Country and it's called Country Waltz and I hope you like it. If you do like what you hear and you want to purchase these books there'll be a link either coming up now or in the description bar directly underneath this video where there'll be a quick link to where you where you can get them. So um, if you want to learn how to play Country Waltz from Simply Country then please keep watching. So first of all I'm going to start off by playing the whole thing through to you and then I'll go through a couple of bits in the music. simple quick and easy one this uh, is supposed to be in a lazy style so you don't want to panic too much about trying to get this over and done with because it's kind of a country waltz you might notice that the tune sort of feels like it's almost syncopated or sort of kind of knocked off kilter a little bit but it kind of gives it a sort of more modern feeling so that you've got some dotted you've got some dotted rhythms there So that's your first little phrase there. So just play, you want to be playing the whole thing in kind of a quite sort of slow, sort of lazy style, not too rushed, not too slow sort of thing. And you'll notice in the first full bar, you've got an E, which is after the C sharp, and I've put a fourth finger there. Now you can play that with the open E if you really want to, but a fourth finger is better. Generally, if I've put fourth fingers anywhere, you should try and do the fourth fingers because they are gonna make life easier for you. If I do that with the open string, I mean, it sounds just as fine and it's just as easy to do, but, just makes life easier if you have the fourth finger just because you're not crossing over strings and you avoid a, a harsh kind of E string going on there. If you're kind of starting to develop a little bit of vibrato as well you can put that in too. You know so it just means if you've got the fourth finger you can put some vibrato. I know there's an open A in the next bar but I think that's kind of fine if you you could do a four But then a four kind of defeats the object that we were trying to do in the in the first bar where you're then putting a fourth finger and it's causing more crossings over. You'll so. notice that you've got C sharps and F sharps in this piece. So for the F sharps and C sharps, it just means they're gonna be stretched. So if you've got your, your first finger dot and you've got your third finger dot, it means that the second finger is gonna be stretched right up towards the green um, third finger dot that you've got here. So first is there and the third finger is there and the second finger is gonna be jammed in right next to the third finger. It isn't gonna be back to the first, it isn't gonna be kind of hanging around in the middle somewhere, it's gonna be right up to the third finger. So that's pretty much everything that I think I need to mention for Country Waltz. Don't forget if you like the sound of that, um, check out, why not check out some of the other pieces in the series. There's a link in the description bar directly underneath this video and there's lots more other videos and that kind of thing. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next.